Welcome to Dracon's Please Outlast. Alright, let's get right into it. Let's go with normal. Yes. Alright, so, you are Miles Upshur, an investigati investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. All he's willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Let's continue. All right. I could hear the stuff before I could see it. That was weird. Alright, taking that off. Holy crap, that's sensitive. I hope it's not as weird when I'm actually, like, in the game proper. Mount Massive Asylum. Alright, let's see. Tip, illegal activity at Murkoff's psychiatric systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff psychiatric systems facilities at Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously. Those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People who are being hurt in Murkoff is mountain making money. It needs to be exposed. I'm like, oh, back out, please. So I am playing this on my, um, one of my PS4 controllers. Very cool. Alright. Objectives are updated in reporter's notebook. Containing your notes. Alright. Or I can do that, or that. Oh boy, this is awkward. There it is. Oh. Oh good, I wasted a battery already. Is there nothing in here? Hmm. Thought there might be something in there. 
whatever. Oh. I'm starting to feel sick just looking at this place. Melt massive asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile up. More like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place must has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks them. Yeah, so you only get notes if you have the camera up, but then you have all this overlay stuff, which slightly emerging and breaking. Why the heck is Sprint LB? Or R1 is PlayStation calls. I'm just gonna keep the dang camera up. Oh, come on. Yes, I've already figured that part out. Why? What? Why? Okay. Turning down my headphones a little bit. So I don't go deaf from the sounds that are going off. gonna consistently do that. Oh, that leans good. I don't know for sure if that leans. Okay, that that got me a little bit. I don't know for sure. I am going to keep doing that for a bit. I see X and I immediately hit the PlayStation X. So yes, your character does actually have an entire body. And he will grab onto things like doorways. That's really a nice touch. Pick up batter. So I have seen this game played, as I was starting to say, but not all the way. Well, it's been a while. All right, let's see. Project Wall Rider, case number one seven four, Billy. Consultation, two thousand twelve. 
initial date. They've had him since 09, so probably right near the beginning. He's currently 19, which means he was only like 16... No, younger. No, yeah, like 16 when they got him. Alright. Male. Dr. Carl Hudson. Patient therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activities observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Um, Seometry revealed no bronchial acclimation. Person. Alright. Highly worrisome. Laughter in N REM state. Interview notes. Billy asks about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger in company record, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Hmm. So yeah, a lot of that's just medical stuff that I don't fully understand. So that, that breathing was my character freaking out. What the heck is that? It's on the tray with the soda. Oh my god. The blood on the ceiling is not a good sign. Okay. Saw that guy. All right. I most certainly remember this one. Okay. So originally the idea was I would play this game. So yeah, there are a bunch of heads just on the shelves here. I'll get back to what I... That's pile of... I'm inside, bodies everywhere, blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Who cares about the third world and bankroll another billion? How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of Tactical cop pinned like a pig on a split spit tells me to get out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear, but I could still leave when I the way I can.
I miss something? Battery. Okay. Little thing. <laughs> Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I do? <sighs> That's a tad too dark. There. And now you can actually see me. Camera. Alright. Okay. So anyways, what I was saying is, originally the plan was to play this, and then immediately follow it with Outlast 2, but that game unfortunately has suffered a delay. But I will be playing that when it comes out. Alright. Affidavits have been made for the board of directors. Alright. Catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with the immediate danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony da 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 you are hereby... Alright. So that's the Murkoff Corporation logo then. Proclaim the gospel. bloody footprints. Alright. Hello. Battery. Nothing back there. Wow, I'm gonna keep doing that. Witness. Marty beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my skull. Couple of craft grids. Nearly died by a deformed giant. Looks like someone... Okay, someone tried to jump and start his head with a cheese grater? He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. Well, that was a window, not a wall, but fair enough. I woke up, some doggy old man with a face like an alcoholic 
Um, Kitty Fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them for my benefit. And there's a hand in that toilet. Two dead men and a battery. Excuse me? Something slammed the door. All right. Yes, let me just walk over that couch. Ooh, file. Alright, from Helen Garnett. Project Wall Rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains stagnantly high. Staggeringly, not stagnantly. The four cash. Fatalities contain enough ambigu ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous in initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphic morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical chem and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Garnett, Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. Good, so they have people working hard to make sure they wouldn't get in trouble. You got anything else to say, buddy? No, I guess not. Nice to know I can go backwards. This door needs a key card. Well, crap. <laughs> Alright. so many dead guys. Blood. There's so much blood. Alright. Case number... To the dim Walker. Let's see, they've had him since 2011. This is dated 13. He's 32. Dr. Rudolf Warnicke. And this is by Dr. Wolch. Therapy status morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. All right. Consistent with patients' reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints. Following his self-inflicted mutilations, restraint um, have to be the restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions, as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity, he claims that the skin ripped from his forehead allows 
for a truer way of seeing, seems to have some boyhood experience with Tortorala lizards in their partial parakeel eyes? I don't know what that means. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh significantly around his lips and nose. Tending orderly should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So Walker's the big guy. And yes, as I noted earlier, this game does have lean. Naturally. Do we got a battery? Does not look like it, unfortunately. Hi, Fred. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody saw them. So it should be noted this guy does not actually have hands. Obviously some of them do. Oh boy, that music. You can comment, game. Inventory, the key card for security control. That's handy. Nothing else in here from the looks of it. Okay. These guys are fine. They're fine. sort of struggle prompt, but I've been injured. This game has health regen, so we're fine. You tell me that. Why can't I lock? They lie. Accessing security system. Hi. Restart the generator and they I mock her, don't try to fight, that's a great message. The big guy is stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. 
a lot of blood in this place on his hands, but not all of it. So that's confirmation that is indeed Walker. He just checked the locker next to me. Okay. Excuse me? I like the sound in this game. Alright. Something program CIA document number? Two file. Hypnotic Experimentation and Research, February 10th, 1954. On Wednesday, um, 10th of February, 1954, Hypnotic Experimentation Research work was continued in Building 13 at the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. A post-hypnotic the night before pointing finger you will sleep was enacted, Mrs. Jackson's and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded um, pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson, and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. They are messing with some serious stuff. Alright. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Anyways, I am gonna wrap the one up here. Pop in a new battery. And next time, we're going to turn the power back on. So I'll see you guys later. Bye! Weird turtle thing, ostrich mixture. Oh. Okay. Are we gonna have to save Bowser? Black! <laughs> Black. Well, this guy's weird. Oh, and all of Bowser's minions. And Luigi. Sheesh. Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear, as foretold in the prophecy. Blah ha 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 ha. Blah ha 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 ha.